In the next few days, the displaced families from Yale Park will be moving from the shelters. And while some may have already found new housing, they still have plenty of needs. When Ramon Calzada of the St. Vincent de Paul Society spoke with parishioners from Omaha Catholic Churches about the evictions at Yale Park, they knew just how to help. They came to me and said, we need to do something. We need to act immediately. And at that meeting, we decided, well, the biggest impact we can do is, you know, through our stores. The Yale Park families had to leave their mattresses behind due to bed bugs. So the Catholic charity, which runs four stores in Omaha, plans to donate 30 of them. That's mostly uh, the main work that we do, helping people in need, uh, especially financial crisis, immediate need. St. Vincent de Paul is just one of many Omaha religious affiliated groups that stepped up after the 500 residents were forced to leave due to unlivable conditions. At Mission Church, they're storing items such as mattresses and couches and will be ready to ship them off once a home is found for a Yale Park family. If there's something that happens or something wrong, like we want to be there, we want to be in it, and we want to be supportive to um, help rectify the situation, um, not even as a church, but just as people, just to be supportive of those around us. Pastor Saw Clay is originally from Myanmar and was called immediately to assist because he can speak the language. He says most of the residents leave the majority of their personal items back at Yale Park. You leave everything behind. You had to set it all or you had to buy new stuff so I think you know they will need a little bit here a little bit there. And while St. Vincent de Paul Society already plans on buying over two dozen mattresses they're asking the public to add to the toll by donating 250 to 300 dollars the price of full and queen size beds. An online retailer Spreetail out of Lincoln helped out in a big way donating 200 mattresses to the families. In the studio John Kipper Three news now.